Michael Iacovoni is an artist, and today he's creating a museum. He calls it the Museum of Censored Art. It's parked outside the Smithsonian Institution's National Portrait Gallery, and it contains only one artwork. A Fire in My Belly is a short video that was recently removed from the portrait gallery because of this depiction of Jesus on the cross. The video is the work of the late gay artist David Wonorovich. The artist was talking about his, his, his own plight with religion and, uh, and how he felt like he was being marginalized in the, in the late 80s due to the AIDS epi epidemic, watching his, his partners and friends die, and he himself was dying of AIDS at the time as well. When I see somebody having ants crawling all over Jesus on a crucifix, Jesus on the cross, I know that wasn't done to endear themselves to the Catholic community. William Donahue is president of the right-wing Catholic League. After he criticized the museum last November, House of Representatives Speaker John Boehner threatened to cut off funding for the museums that make up the Smithsonian Institution. The video was removed within 24 hours. Now, free speech advocates and artists like Iacovoni are crying foul. This is the museum for all the American people and everyone who visit this country. And because somebody got upset, nobody else gets to see the video. Art and religion have clashed before in America. Last year, a U.S. cable network altered a cartoon after receiving threats over its depiction of Islam's prophet Muhammad in a teddy bear costume. The controversy over the Wonorovich video began in October when the National Portrait Gallery opened an exhibition called Hide Seek. The exhibit focuses on gay and lesbian influences in American portraiture. There are works by Andy Warhol, Robert Morris, as well as a self-portrait of Wonorovich. The Fire in My Belly video was on display right here, and to see it, a visitor would have to select from a menu of options. David Ward is a co-curator of the exhibit. The Wanarovitz Fire in My Belly was included because of it's, it's an anguished artistic expression of one man's and one artist's confrontation with AIDS. The Smithsonian Institution says it removed the video because the controversy was overshadowing the exhibit. Mike Blazenstein is a gay activist who's also part of the Museum of Censored Art. He doesn't accept that argument. People have a right to be offended by what they see, but our point is that uh, people, you know, have a greater right to make up their own minds. And people come to the Museum of Censored Art to do just that. I can see why people have a problem with it. Anything should be in the museum. Like yeah. people have the right to like like freedom of speech and freedom of expression and stuff like that. The controversy over the video hasn't been all bad for the National Portrait Gallery. Attendance is up 75% over last year. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington.